Since the dawn of humanity, the science of agriculture has been the cornerstone to the development of human cultures and civilizations. The science of agriculture enabled early humans to transition from nomadic hunter-gatherers, to being able to settle down in one location, and survive on the plants harvested for food, which in turn, led to the development of early cities, nations, states, and empires. The process of planting and harvesting crops, also led to the development of various cultural expressions, including, ceremonies, dances, and holidays. The science of agriculture was invented independently, by various groups of people around the world, and each culture developed their own traditional harvest festivals, and agricultural deities. In the African language of Swahili, the spirit of the harvest is called, Matunda, Ya, Kwanzaa, which means, first fruits of the harvest. After giving humanity the science of agriculture, the goddess Kwanzaa soon observed that certain undesirable characteristics, were beginning to develop in humanity. People would have conflict and fight over food and farmland. Eventually these fights would manifest as wars, as tools for farming would be used as weapons for war. When there were no wars, an overabundance of food would turn people into gluttons. In times of famine, people would become greedy, and unwilling to share with the needy. The haves would exhibit hubris, while the have-nots would exhibit jealousy. And, slothfulness and avarice, led to the invention of a shameful institution, where people were forced to harvest crops, as slaves. You reap what you sow, is the first rule of agriculture, and also applies to morality. And so, the goddess Kwanzaa realized, that she must also bring law, in order to civilize all agricultural societies. And so, she developed a communitarian philosophy, called the, Nguzo Saba, based on seven principles. She commissioned her consort, who was a blacksmith, to fashion seven laser spears, which would serve as the equipment of the enforcers of the seven principles. The name given to the enforcers of the seven principles would be, the Nguzo Saba Skari. The first principle is, Yumoja, who wields the black laser spear. He is a protector of unity, and strives to maintain unity in the family, community, nation, and race. The second principle is, Fuji Chakaliya, who wields the first red laser spear. He is the protector of self-determination, and strives to ensure that all are able to define themselves, create for themselves, and speak for themselves. The third principle is, Yujima, who wields the first green laser spear. She is the protector of collective work and responsibility. She is dedicated to building and maintaining communities, and solving problems together. The fourth principle is, Yujama, who wields the second red laser spear. He is the protector of cooperative economics, and is dedicated to developing businesses and economic growth. The fifth principle is, Nia, who wields the second green laser spear. She is the protector of purpose, ambition, and direction. She is dedicated to ensuring that goals are set, for a positive and productive vision of the future. The sixth principle is, Kimba, who wields the third red laser spear, and he is the protector of creativity. He is dedicated to ensuring that we always do as much as we can, in the way we can, in order to make our communities more beautiful and beneficial than we inherited it. And lastly, the seventh principle is, Imani, who wields the third grain laser spear, and she is the defender of faith, conviction, and hope. She fights to ensure that we believe with all our hearts and our people, our parents, our teachers, our leaders, and the righteousness and victory of our struggle. With their seven powers combined, the Nguzo Saviskari, strive to ensure that the seven principles of Kwanzaa, are maintained and protected, for the prosperity of all humanity.